Hey, I'm Synthesize, and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're going to be playing some Hero League, and it uh, looks like we've been able to lock in Muradin on the new Battlefield of Eternity. A strong lineup so far with um, Vala, Kalthas, and Gazlo on the right hands. Is that Gazlo on Hero Battlefield of Eternity is actually quite strong because you have to take certain points, so he can definitely help defend um, the Immortal when needed. So Gazlo here is definitely a good pick. And then, of course, Lili, because what would Hero League be without a Lili? Uh, enemy team has also a really strong uh, selection. Jaina and Malfurion. Malfurion, very good at the moment. And Joanna is also top, one of the top um, tanks. Reyno always sees a, lot of, a little bit of play. And then, of course, Illidan, if you can keep him going, is a beast. So... For us, we're a little bit lucky. Um, we can definitely disrupt a lot of the damage, um, especially Illidan. We're going to... And I just want to see if Reyna ends up... Uh, if he's going to go like a auto-attack build. But we're going to pick Reverberation. Um, that'll definitely shut Illidan down uh, so much. So that uh, I really want to basically get into Illidan's face as much as I can. Pop W. It's a... Thunderclap, it's an area effect, um, slows, does damage, well, and then with reverberation, it reduces his attack speed by 50%, so that is my main ability in this game, it's really, it's like pumping up that W as much as I can, really shutting down Illidan's attack speed, so he can't get, he can't get um, health back, he's, uh, which is his sort of main way of surviving. I unfortunately do miss my stun, but no big deal. Still early. And there he goes. He pops out of the shadows. Hello, Illidan. Oh. We can also shut down uh, Rainer's auto attack damage as well. So this is actually a good lane for us because we can uh, do some damage, but... Um, their damage output is quite high, so just need to be a bit, little bit careful, and yeah, we should be able to move, move these guys back. Boom. Good, good little um, shield there from Illidan in the end saves his butt. There we go. Time to fight. I always like to defend first. Um, find that we can get off. <clears throat> excuse me. A couple good kills with the help of our own model. It uh, definitely makes things a lot more simpler. Uh, Lily going back at the worst possible time, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, as immortals do spawn. Um, looks like Kalthas wants to. Uh, do some damage, that's cool, we will, and Gazlo setting up to defend, so, uh, we're a little bit all over the place, but that's cool. And... Let's get out. I also like the defend idea, we'll see. I am out of mana, though. We are rooted, but we do manage to pick up a couple kills. And uh, now, because of that, yeah, we can really look to push there. So I'm gonna go Thunder Burn strikes twice. I really want um, that attack speed slow to hit as many times as I can. As you can see, once we get a couple kills, um, it's, we're basically free to do as much damage as we want. So definitely defending early, and then uh, after a few kills, moving as five to um, basically clean up their immortal. I did accidentally walk into that stun, that's, and Kalthas, and it's 
going to be picked off. I'm out of mana, so I've got to be really careful on my position. I'm uh, trying to save the backline as much as I can, and our immortal helps us out a tremendous amount. And, uh, but I, if I can... No, I just needed a little bit more mana, so staying there has cost me a little bit. And now they're free to do a bunch of free damage as we are stuck as four. I'm almost back into the fight. So sure we can pick up Crusader going in deep. We might be able to pick him up. We manage to push him back a little bit. They are low, so if we do move in here, we potentially can get some good kills off. And as we see, we do pick up a Crusader. Don't get stunned, don't get stunned. Now I'm just going to zone out these guys as much as I can, soak up as much damage as I can, and uh, bail and do some damage and finish this off. So, a good first immortal fight for us. I'm going to pick up the globes, thank you, and we're going to push bottom. Uh, Illidan going deep. Uh, we might be able to pick him up if he's not careful. Get us done off. And we do pick up that kill. We started pushing them hard. Gonna move forward. If they can hit me, that would be great, because that means our model is alive a little bit longer. I'm gonna go battle momentum so I can get my W off more often. The more time we're getting battle moment, the more time we're getting off W, the more auto attack slows we're doing to Illidan, and the uh, less effective he will be, but uh, I'm going to have to back out because I don't have any heals. Thank you, uh, Lily. It's going to protect her, make sure she doesn't get caught. Uh, it looks like Gazlo is going for Merc camps. I'm going to make sure that these guys don't get too deep. I do have a the jump, dive, toss, dwarf, dwarf toss, and uh, we can jump back in it. So they didn't end up picking up any of the important guys. So we do manage to save them capping that mocap, which is good. And we didn't lose anyone in the process. So that turned out really well for us. Uh, Jaina a little bit might be caught out here. I'm gonna jump in her way, body block as much as I can, and yeah, secure that kill. Gazla does go down, so that's a little annoying. But we do have a decent push on this bottom lane. Because we managed to pick up that tower. And we should be able to uh, get 10 before them, and that's going to be huge coming into the next Immortal fight, which is just around the corner. I'm going to maybe back out. Rotate top and um, pick up Rainer if he's not careful. Does he see us rotating? That up. So, good coordination from our team. I'm gonna pick up Avatar, of course, and uh, yeah, we can. As five, we can drive straight into uh, doing some damage because we do have the numbers advantage. I'm going to just zone out as much as I can here. Actually, don't need to. We're all running, and I'm going to have to run as well. Gazlo looks like he might be caught out. But does get off a good gravity bomb. So we're going to rotate into defending, pick up a couple of kills again. I can just get some mana back. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. And, uh, I'm not able to secure that kill. I'm so low in mana, I really need to conserve what I do. I'm going to save it actually all for 
uh, W's. So, getting up some free damage. So, this might be important to get off a stun. Oh, and he just gets out of range, but that's good. We do still manage to pick up the kill in the end. So, once again, as four, dive in. Don't really need to do too much damage to the Crusader as he's too strong. And here we seem to be, we're going to pick up a really, really strong Immortal. He's going to have a huge, um, huge, it's called shield. <laughs> Not me, mind my words. And he's going to be able to push so hard. Uh, unless we all die here. Done. We pick up some extra damage. No Time to back up because I don't have any mana. Some good body, good body blocks. They do manage to pick up. Ooh. Illidan going deep. Does get the kill. Actually, cheekily runs away. So I thought he may have. Uh, so he did end up picking that uh, talent that lets you. No, wait, no. No, my mistake. Uh, yeah, well done by Illidan, picking up that kill. Feel the hatred of 10,000 years! So, our mortal taking a fair bit of damage. We just wasted it. We just, uh, unfortunately, a few of those deaths were so costly. And we didn't really make the most of that immortal, but we'll clean it. We'll pick up the Merc camps on the way instead. Got to be careful because they will be expecting us here. Especially us. This is probably going to be their first four. Yeah. Do in the end pick it up, but it probably is going to cost us both of our lives. No? no? Actually. We do pick it up in the end, so lucky, lucky. They weren't paying attention, they were a little bit messy. We're going to have to back out. Rana zoning us heavily, burning rage is what we're going to pick up in response. I mean, do some, a little bit more damage. Do my best to zone and harass. Ugh, missing the stun there, which is really frustrating because that could have potentially been a kill. Alright, so we do manage to pick up an Illidan kill. A very timely Illidan kill. Um, he will be back just in time for the Immortals. This is a, a really aggressive play, but the enemy may work out. Vala helping us out, I'm going to have to pop my ultimate, and we do end up cleaning up the um, Crusader. Might as well hang around here and just finish this off. Aggressive play, messy play, it kind of worked out. Not sure if it was worth the camp, but uh, we're going to go with it anyway. Time to defend, I think. Oh, once again, out of mana. Illidan going strong. Yeah, just defend. Gravity bomb missing everybody there. I'm gonna have to try to appeal for my Kale, but uh, no, it's too late. In the end, actually, it might gonna cost me my life as well because I have no. Ugh. Dangerous butchered that. 
Okay, I was a little bit out of position and I probably should have just, uh, <laughs> unfortunately just left him there. Instead of, um, yeah, trying to save his life. So, the enemy team, they're going to turn around heavy here. I don't think we're going to be able to get much done on their immortal at all. Um, so, if we can potentially pick up a few kills in the process and basically waste it like they managed to do to ours. Um, yeah, we can get back on track. Uh, we do manage to get in a little bit of damage, but yeah, bugger all in the end. So, from a strong push, they're going to have all five up. They have hit 16 before us, and they will have an immortal. So, um, this will be interesting. This is a really do a strong defining moment for uh, this game, depending on how this fight goes. Uh, they were a little slow in getting to the enemy. I did manage to pick up the Crusader in that exchange. I'm going to pick up a stone form and I'm going to use it straight away. Get me that health back as soon as possible. Stay in the fight a little bit longer. But it's time to get out. Yeah, we did too much damage. I'm going to have to tap and thankfully. Just stun, that was annoying. Trying to harass as much as I can. But in the end, yeah. So we did lose the tower out of that, but we are still ahead. Not on XP, but in structures we are, so. Um, looks like they're going to get Merc camps here, so. Ugh. Good bombs from Kayla. Just didn't quite make it in time. Gaslow looking, going a little bit ham. He's gonna die. I don't think I can do anything to save him. And in the end, a good gravity bomb does save his life. So good work, Gaslow. What are elemental doing damage? Fair bit, gonna have to pop deep. Get the start off. And do manage to pick up that kill. Run the back out though. So a strong kill on Illidan there. He's going to miss most of the uh well some of the, at least the initial part of the immortal, so hopefully we can take advantage. Um, we do have the 4 to 5 advantage straight away, so we could basically jump into offense. I fight for the glory yeah, we, of we could spawn. Well, let's just do that. And very quickly, we are able to get down, down to 50%. So, the enemy team, knowing that they cannot get involved in any 4v5 situation, uh, probably intelligently leave it. We do see Rainer up top, so we know that anything that they come out with us at the moment is going to be 4v5. Crusader does come in to help out. A good just get a stun off in time. A good uh, Phoenix from Kale does get off a whole bunch of damage. They jump into my backline of heal as much as I can, but unfortunately yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. We do get picked off. Doing my best to help out, but nah, it's the end. Illidan gonna zone me out. So strong start. Peter's out to a slow finish. I'm gonna just have to clean up while I wait. 
and there's nothing that I can do as a single person. Unfortunately, team is back up, but a little too late. Uh, we do see their mortal pushing top, so that fort is in big danger. They do have 20, so we've got to be careful here. Popping Avatar early. Kill that wall air elemental before it does too much work. Stay out of Rainer's um, Hyperion. Oh, and we're into a stun. So that was uh, a little, little annoying. You know, tap, get some mana back. him up and we should be able to get the kill there good work good gravity bomb from the mouth uh, sorry the gaslow and they're gonna get away with their lives I say we take this mercenary kit. I'm gonna start this siege camp uh, while the others are doing the top they don't really need me Moving as a team is five, uh, we do need to hit the 20, which is going to be really crucial in our next team fight. So I'm gonna, no, do I need my help? No. And we do hit 20, so hard shields. It's gonna be strong. single pick but doesn't come percentage jumping in going to pop ultimate but it's just a messy team fight and uh, time to get the hell out do my best to save Jaina um, Illidan annoying the hell out of Gazlo. See if I can do anything to save him as well. I'm out, completely out of mana. Yeah, nothing I can do. Uh, once again, out of mana. Feel him in terms of me, that'd be great. And just too much damage. Got enough stuns. Yeah, so messy. Well, we're gonna get in a fair bit of damage, and it's probably gonna be a good game if uh, we can just maybe zone them out. We've been going really strong. Kalthas basically are oh, good. A really strong uh, bolt of the storm, but if Illidan is not careful, he will get picked off, and uh, a little bit more tower damage than he does. So hopefully we can use that advantage, that one player advantage, um, 
as much as possible. Uh, we do have an immortal coming in and a really strong immortal at that. It's pr potentially game over. Um, if we can all jump up and defend, anything's possible. Rana going deep as well. Solo, if he's not careful, Kalthas will definitely pick him up. And he does. So we just need to defend. Definitely not over yet, I don't think so. If we can hold up this immortal. We do have a two player advantage, so they can't push it as much as they would like. Yeah, immortal going down really quickly at the moment. Pick up a couple more kills here. Have a strong ability to push. We have the man advantage. Off your end going down. I'm just trying to zone out um, the Illidan as much as possible. Gazlo stuck in an awkward position. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to jump in and help. Did not see. Did not just pick up that kill. Maybe if we can clean up some of their mercs. We do have a two man advantage, so yeah, if we can get as many of these merc camps as possible, um, get a little bit of pressure on while the models are active, uh, anything is. And we do pick up a free Crusader kill, so that is huge. Your models in up. Go straight onto the offense. Yeah, we try to burn this down as quickly as possible while they are man down. Illidan is back up for them. So any team fight, but any team fight situation we get in we should basically dominate because they don't have that crusader just sucking up all that damage, and just like that, we do manage to. Time to burn. They are just pushing our lanes, which is fine because we will have a huge immortal in return. But it might actually be a little too late. We gotta defend, go back. They went for the all-in strategy. Looks like it's not going to pay off for him this time, so that's a. I will cleanse this land from your corruption. Thankfully, if I can just get. Really getting picked off. 
but we do manage to pick up the other one because of that. We really should be able to um, push heavily here. Rain are in a bit of trouble. I want to get that stun off. No, it's a good game. So, ebbed and flowed, but in the end, uh, yeah, we did well. Worked as a team. Pretty fun. My thanks to 